Hello everyone, I'm Burfy1322 and this video serves as an update to my best fully upgraded car series where I take all vehicles in GTA 5 around a circuit to find the best to use for racing. This video is going to cover the currently unreleased vehicles from the import export DLC. As always when we download these DLCs we're actually given more cars than are originally released and then Rockstar released one car after another week after week drip feeding us the content which I've decided to not wait for this time. So what I've done is gone onto PC and modded them into single player and tested them there. So these lap times are representative of what they will get but I will be testing them properly when they are released as well. But you can basically take the lap times that we get here as very, very close to what they will finally get when I originally, when I test them, when they are officially released. But what I wanted to do is get these, get this information out there straight away so that you can decide now which vehicles you can buy, what you can plan for without waiting for these vehicles to actually be released by Rockstar in the way that they do week after week after week. So we've, I've started with the two bikes because they're probably the least interesting. We've got the FCR 1000 and the FCR 1000 Custom. This is a, obviously a Benny's vehicle um, and all of the vehicles in here will be upgradable at Benny's. Uh, but the lap times that they get aren't too far apart and they're nothing special in the motorcycles class. It's when we get to the cars that things start to get very, very interesting. And first up in fifth place here, we're going to have the Comet Retro Custom, which in a similar way to the Elegy Retro Custom is slower than its normal counterpart. As we, as you might expect, because it's an older vehicle that the, uh, that the older version of the Comet is a little bit slower than the newer version of the Comet. It's very difficult to drive as Comets generally are in this game. A 106.0 isn't an altogether too bad lap time to be honest, it's pretty decent, but it's nothing too special. Now this is where it gets even more interesting because in fourth place we have the Spectre Custom. Yes, that's right, we've got the custom version of the vehicle first. With a 105.5, this isn't too bad of a lap time. Twelfth place in sports and sports class is very packed at the top. The, all of the sports cars that we're seeing here are quite competitive, you know, you could use them in races. They're obviously no match for the regular Elegy, but, you know, they're, they're, they're or thereabouts competitive. But the Spectre Custom is actually slower than the regular Spectre, as, which is now in third place and is actually in eighth place in the sports class with a lap time of 104.8. So it's a pretty significant difference in lap time, you know, of six, seven tenths of a second between the Spectre and the Spectre Custom, with the Custom version actually being slower. And apart from the Nero and the Nero Custom, every single Custom version of vehicle from this DLC, the Import Export DLC, is slower than the vehicle that you're customizing it from. So the Spectre Custom is slower than the Spectre, the Comet Retro is slower than the Comet, the Elegy Retro Custom is slower than the Elegy Retro, the Nero and the Nero Custom is the only, uh, the only exception to that, and that even expands to our top two vehicles, which is the new supercar, the Itali GTB. Because in second place here, we've got the Itali GTB Custom with a 103.4, and then in first place, you might have guessed it, we've got the Itali GTB, uh, the regular version. So why are these custom versions slower than the regular versions? You could understand it for the LG Retro and the Comet Retro because they are meant to be the older versions of the cars. Um, but why the Spectre Retro, uh, the Spectre Custom and the Itali GTB Custom, why are those slower than the non-upgraded counterparts? Why are you going to be spending money to upgrade a car at Benny's and have it be slower than its normal counterpart? Because we've never seen that before with Benny's vehicles, they're either faster or on the same pace. Well, it all it's all caused because of the new downforce aspect that is released with these vehicles. So I mentioned this a lot in previous videos. I'm going to link the uh, Cunning Stunts Vehicles Revisited Testing video, which is going to explain it. If you're at all confused, watch that video first because it will explain it in great detail what you need to know. But basically with the Cunning Stunts Vehicles, there was a downforce modifier introduced into the game specifically for those vehicles and no other vehicles have it. And basically what me that means is they get their extra cornering speed from that downforce modifier instead of the spoiler that is attached to the vehicle. Obviously when you attach a spoiler to a vehicle you get a traction increase and that allows you to have higher cornering speeds. With the Cunning Stunts vehicles, the three supercars and the Omnus, but we'll just talk about the three supercars for now, the, the, that downforce modifier gives them much higher cornering speeds than they would get from a normal spoiler. Um, so 
the the spoilers on the three new uh, the three cunning stunt supercars don't actually have an effect. If you put a different kind of spoiler on the RE seven B, for example, it's not going to make you go any quicker than not having a different spoiler on, unlike all the other cars in the game. And that is actually the same case for the Spectre Custom and the Itali GTB Custom as well. Both of those vehicles have downforce modifiers, so it doesn't matter what spoiler you put on those two custom versions of the vehicles, it won't make a difference. The problem is that the regular Itali GTB and the regular Spectre don't have this downforce modifier so they pretty much share exactly the same stats i'm pretty sure that the, the the custom versions of the vehicles are meant to be slightly quicker because they have a tiny little bit more engine power a tiny little bit more base traction things like that which you generally see with these custom versions they're a tiny little bit improved in terms of the stats of the cars but otherwise they're pretty much exactly the same but the problem is that the downforce modifiers of the Spectre Custom and the Itali GTB Custom aren't high enough to increase the cornering speeds more than what they would get from a spoiler. So they lose the, they lose the benefit of the increased traction from the spoiler, which is totally fine, but the replacement for that, or what is meant to be the replacement for that with the downforce modifier, isn't enough. It doesn't give, it, doesn't give them enough traction increase to be able to beat their non-custom counterparts that get a be be better bonus in traction from just the standard spoiler. So basically what we have here is custom versions of cars that are slower in the corners than their regular versions and that's all because of this downforce modifier and, and the reason for that is the, the downforce multiplier for the, uh, the, the cunning stunt supercars is uh, in the region of three. You've got three, 3.5 and 3.35. So they're all above three uh, in terms of a multiplier. But for the Itali GTB custom and the Spectre custom, the downforce modifier is only 1.75. And for the Itali GTB, it's actually only 1.5. So that's less than half of what the downforce is for the uh, Cunning Stunt supercars, which basically means that it's not enough. So the Itali GTB regular version gets higher cornering speeds and more of a bonus effect from a regular spoiler than what the custom version does from this downforce modifier. And because the custom version, because it has this downforce modifier, anything that has a downforce modifier doesn't get an increase in traction from a spoiler. Just to point out that the LG, the uh, Comet Retro Custom also has a downforce modifier, so you can have any kind of spoiler you want on that as well and it won't make a difference. But because when a vehicle has a downforce modifier, it doesn't get any added bonus of traction from a regular spoiler, it turns out that the benefit in traction from the regular spoiler is actually more effective than the small amount of downforce increase that these custom versions of cars get. And that's the whole reason that the custom versions of the Spectre and the Itali GTB are slower than their regular counterparts. So when these vehicles come out, if you want any of them, they're not too bad in terms of performance, obviously, as you saw. They're, they're right up there, they're certainly the original versions are right up there in terms of performance uh, and, and competitive in the supercars and sports cars classes. But if you do want one of these cars, when they release, don't upgrade it at Benny's. You know, if you upgrade it at Benny's, it will go slower than its original counterpart, unless you obviously want all the extra features from a Benny's upgrade. So that's something to take away. Basically, all you need to take away from this is that apart from the Nero and the Nero Custom, every single vehicle that's been released from this DLC that is upgradable at Benny's, that isn't a bike, is slower than its non-upgraded version. Um, so... That pretty much covers it. That's everything from this DLC done. Obviously, these are going to be releasing one, uh, you know, week after week after week. But I'm not going to be uh, focusing on those. I'm not going to be releasing a new video every week. I will be testing them in the background, ready for the new class-specific testing videos. All we got to do now, all you guys have got to do now, is just show a little bit of patience for those class-specific testing videos that will be coming very shortly. Um, basically, we'll be having a new video for every single class in terms of lap time and in terms of top speed as well. Every single week, we'll be going over every single class and it will contain the video will contain every single vehicle from all of those classes tested, 
lap times given in order so there's no confusion about what car is where and what place anything is so just show a little bit of patience the, those videos will be coming in the near future but for now that is the import export dlc all done and we haven't had to wait for rockstar to actually release them this time so there you go very interesting findings there thank you guys so much for watching let me know your thoughts down below thank you so much for all the support as always i hope this has been helpful in your buying decisions Thank you so much. I always appreciate your support as always, and I'll see you next time.